It's a dream come true, really. I've wanted to do this role for a really long time. Uh, she's, wow, she is just something. She's really um, quite amazing. It's a roller coaster because one minute she's just screaming and angry and pissed off, and then the next minute she's just like a teddy bear. You want on the table or are we all lousy heads? <laughs> she's really, uh, I mean, when it starts out, she has nothing, no self esteem. She's a whore. She's, she sells her body and doesn't care, and I don't think she really cares about anything. Um, I don't think she cares about herself. I don't think she cares about anyone around her. I think it's just getting through the day for her. Um, and she doesn't have anyone that cares for her, and she doesn't have anyone in her life that she cares for. So do not talk. very damaged human being and so when this complete stranger comes into her life and tells her she's beautiful and she's the ultimate woman and she's the epitome of all things female uh, it's it's unfathomable to her that that could be her um, but the more that somebody believes in you the more that somebody tells you you're beautiful you're a good person um, the more you believe it and I think that that's what ends up happening for her in the end, is that she, it does transform her into a completely different person, a person who, who knows that inside, she's good. And I have a is good inside, and we can all find that good in each other. Um, Quixote sees things in this woman that she doesn't see in herself. And it's just kind of remembering that we're all human, remembering that we're all inherently good, and seeing that good in other people when they can't see it in themselves. I think is what's the message of this show, and it's what Quixote keeps telling us the entire time. And it's taking the blinders off and just being open to seeing the good in all. Yeah.